their future generations. I think I speak for the rest of us when I say, sorry. Sorry for letting you with a mess of a planet. <laughs> sorry that we was too caught up in our own doings to do something. Sorry we listened to people who made excuses to do nothing. I hope you forgive us. We didn't realize how special the earth was, like a marriage gone wrong. We didn't know what we have until it was gone. For example, I'm guessing you probably know what the Amazon Desert, right? Or believe it or not, it was once called the Amazon Rainforest. There are billions of trees and all of them gorgeous and... Oh, we don't give a shit about trees, do we? Let me tell you this, trees are amazing. We, I mean, we little regret the air they are creating. They are storing and purify water, give us medicine that cure all disease and food that feeds us, which I'm so sorry. To tell you that, we cut them down, burn them down with brutal machines, horrific, and the rain furry football fields every minute. That's 50% 50, 50 of all the trees in the world gone in the last hundred years. Why? For this. What makes me great sorrow to see many pictures of leaves on it? You know, when I was a child, I read how the Native American people had such consideration for the planet they lived for. That they that they were responsible for how they left the land for the next seven generations. What makes me great sorrow? Because most of us today don't even care about tomorrow. So sorry next to the future generation. So sorry that we we listen to people who made excuses to do nothing. So, you know what? Cut the beat. Cut the beat. I'm not sorry. This is the future that I do not accept it. Because an error does not become an, a mistake until you refuse to correct it. We can redirect this. How? Let me suggest. If a farmer sees that a tree is unhealthy, they don't look to the branches diagnose it. They look to the root. So like that farmer, we need to look to the root. We are the root. We are the foundation. This generation is up to us to care for the planet. It's our only home. It's our only home. Because it stop saying that we are apart from nature. We are a part of nature. And to betray nature is to betray us. And to save nature is to save us. Because whatever you're fighting for, racism, poverty, gay rights, feminism, or any 